Hi, my name is Riza. In this session, I would like to show you uh, how to use PowerShell Core inside the .NET Core 2.0 console application. So let's start. First of all, uh, you might want to check uh, whether you have a .NET Core CLI. So all you have to do is just uh, type .NET dash dash version. So in this case, I'm using version 2.0.2, .2, the CLI. And for the .NET SDK itself, I'm using the SDK 2.0. Okay, so let's start by creating a directory. I'm just going to name it PS Core Test. Okay, and we go to the directory. And the first thing that you want to do is to to see whether what template that you have in the .NET uh, Core uh, that you install. This is the default template that I get. First of all, you can see that there is a solution template, which is the SLN for short. And there is a console application, which is the console. And you can you also can use other language, for example, like F sharp or VB, by specifying this option language. Uh, in, in this case, we just want to use the console application inside the solution file. So the solution file, so you'll be able to open it in a normal Visual Studio. In this demo, I'm going to use a Visual Studio code instead. Okay. So number one that you have to do is just create a .NET new solution just like that if you look at this that you will see that there is a solution here ps core test solution and the next thing that you want to do is to add the project and automatically restore the packages as well now if you look at this you, you see it is a normal uh, solution folder that you, you you usually see in the Visual Studio solution folder okay now uh, you need to add this project into inside the solution so all you have to do is just dot net solution add ps core test dot cs project that's all you need okay so there's nothing changed in here, but uh, there is a reference inside the solution now, uh, adding this uh, PS Core Test CS project inside this uh, solution file. Uh, before we open Visual Studio Code, it is advisable usually just to ju just to make it easy. Restore one more time. Okay, once you already restore, you just open in Visual Studio Code, and there you go. So this is inside the Visual Studio Code. As you can see here, this is the uh, binary, uh, the object, the one that we already restore everything, and the uh, program CS and the CS project and the PS core test solution file. Required assets to build the debug are missing from the previous. Okay, just add them. This is a bunch of Visual Studio Code stuff. Okay, so uh, first thing that you see in here is a uh, CS project. The CS port itself is very simple. As you can see, it's a, just a normal uh, CS port file, which the target framework here is .NET Core App 2.0. You can also see the solution here that this uh, solution, this project has been added into this solution. And this is the reference. Okay, so that's all you need inside the solution. Uh, the other one that you can see in here is the CS project, uh, sorry, the CS uh, program CS file, which is the source code for for this uh, console application. Uh, currently, you can run this, uh, which is going to show this hello world thing, but we are not going to do that right now. Uh, the other one, the other thing that you can do inside Visual Studio Kit is to use the interactive mode in here. So you can use PowerShell. Uh, using interactive inside Visual Studio Code. However, in this uh, demo, I just want to use a normal uh, PowerShell just to show you uh, 
the difference and actually you you're going to see the PowerShell inside the interactive in Visual Studio Code as well okay uh, once you already have this you have to add the package for the PowerShell core which is this the Microsoft PowerShell SDK Microsoft PowerShell command and diagnostics Microsoft uh, remote management uh, packages uh, currently is not available in a public NuGet so you have to reference these packages to get these packages from this uh, development pipe pipeline which is uh, what they what the dev teams do nightly build I guess okay so to do that is very simple we go back to the PowerShell here and we add the I'm just going to copy here to make it fast we just add the dot net at package Microsoft SDK PowerShell dot SDK version 6 beta 8 and this is the source that's all you need okay and the next one is the diagnostic and the last one is the management and there you go so uh, once you do, do this you can go back to the visual studio code and you can restore this as you can see there's a terminal here opening which is the PowerShell as well we are not going to use it we're going to use the normal PowerShell console and as you can see in the project that now they add this reference package reference okay now we good so we go to the program CS now we add the code which is I also already make some simple PowerShell code okay and of course we have to be using system that management dot automation okay uh, but you as you can see here even though there is we already restore this but we still see this namespace issue and the PowerShell also sweetly because this PowerShell is inside this namespace uh, this is because this PowerShell core is using x64 for Windows 10 x64 uh, runtime identifier so to add that all you have to do is just go to the CS proj and then add this runtime identifiers Windows 10 dash 64 that's all you need so if you go back to program CS all this the swiggly will will disappear now we already have this and all you have to do is just build just to, just in case and we have no error uh, the last thing that you do you have to do is uh, publish so publish will create this packages uh, uh, the entire package of this applic console application the, uh, the, the configuration is released and uh, runtime is win 10 x64 and I'm going to uh, deploy to the publish folder so let's try this okay so let's go to the publish and as you can see here it's a bunch of file in here but what you need to see is actually the executable file this is the one that you have to see so let's execute this and see what's going on and there you go you will get all the get command stuff object ps object here which is all the name okay uh to make it simple just let's add some simple code here which i also already prepare
there we go so this is a going to get command with the command type command let starting with new dash and we're going to return the name and the value of the string uh, all we have to do is do the same thing we publish I think we need to return to the new folder and then publish and then we go to the publish and then we execute and there you go nice easy and simple to add a uh, PowerShell core inside the .NET Core 2.0 application by just adding these three reference and uh, with a simple code just to remind you that this is still beta version which is beta 8 um, they will release the RTM sometimes uh, but at least you, go, you, you need to know how to create this from the beginning Thank you very much and enjoy.